Yes, sir, man. Big Suey checking in, trapping at the trap house. And guess what, man? You know we international with it, baby. Okay? We outside with it, baby. I got that boy J-Way checking in. Amsterdam in the building. What's up? Yes, sir, Ski, man. man. Tell me about Amsterdam, bro. Out here, man. Amsterdam, man. The best city in the world. I'm man, telling you. You got to give me more information about that. I, you know, a lot, of people, <laughs> a lot of people don't get a chance to go to Amsterdam, man. You know, man. You, you hear you hear like the what you got the like the little freak red light special. The red light is district. All people think about when you, when you mention Amsterdam, <laughs> red light district. And weed. Weed. Yeah. There's so much more to it, man. It's like just the freedom, man. Like it's uh it's one of the non clickiest cities, I feel like, you know. Um, and it's just, I don't know, man, it's a vibe. You should really come out to experience it for yourself. So you said born and raised in Amsterdam. Yes, sir. What was it like growing up, mother and father? Yes, sir. Okay. How was that? Because, you know, a lot of people in America, you know what I mean, where, <laughs> where, where we're at, let's, let's be real. You know, hey. we, we, can we be real? I hear a lot it. of black folks uh -huh. ain't got both their mom and their daddy in the household. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, it's, um, I mean, at a certain age, my dad did, did leave, so. Ah, yeah. Nah, ah, damn. damn. Yeah. <laughs> no, almost. <laughs> so almost. So yeah. Um, but it was dope, man. It's dope growing up, you know. Um, and yeah, just uh my dad was a DJ back in the day. That's hard. So, you know, a lot of uh the music that I, you know, listen to right now was instilled in me growing up. Mm. So yeah, he used to go to parties oftentimes with even take me with him. So yeah, yo. So top three artists that inspire you since your dad was a DJ. Let me hear. Michael Jackson. Okay. Michael Jackson, um, actually, you know, as a kid, Bow Wow growing up. Okay. Little Bow Wow. <laughs> just don't know. <laughs> right, <it's a> <laughs> Gotta get props. It, um and who else? I think fifty cent. Fifty fifty? Yeah. That's a that's a that's a like just a, a broad span of, of music <laughs> artists that inspired Michael. You. So, I get it. Michael Curtis 50 Jackson. And, and, and <laughs> Michael fifty and Lil Bow Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so tell me how how's this mix? How 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 do you how do you pull from all of them? Man, like uh, all of, all of these artists have like you know just different aspects that I really appreciate, and it's it's definitely more artists, but like these are the ones that like you know just pop up right now. But um, definitely Lil Bow Wow as like you know just growing up seeing a kid with like you know just uh, you know a Balling dude with the adults. You know what he I was mean? Pretty much in his videos with Snoop Dogg and yeah, all the big dogs. Like. Yeah, and he had Fred Durst in like you know his video that was like super dope because I used to love Fred Durst, Limp Biscuit, of course. Right, for sure. And um, yeah, and then. 50 Cent, like his story is just what like really, really, really captivated me. Like, you know, just, uh, you know, him being shot nine times. And like he really had a story like it was a it was a big gap in right. hip hop where like dudes that actually had a real story. Right. That was really like, you know, a unique selling. And point. you see, you go through, you can look it up. It's on paperwork. Exactly, man. You could Google it. And it's like, yo, you really got shot. That's so dope. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you so, survived. Yeah. So what inspires you? You know, you did being your daddy, being a DJ. Well, let's go. What At what point did you decide to do music? Like, wait. So it was uh, so I was like a consumer at first, like my dad bringing me to these parties and stuff like you know him DJing I'm like okay I love music but it wasn't until high school the first day of high school when I met this dude um you know my classmate he was like yo he, he introduced himself and he was like what's your name and he was like well what's your rap name and I'm like rap name I don't rap and he was like yo come on everybody raps and he introduced me to freestyling mm -hmm. and once I started that man the rest was history bro I was like it. yo this is a this is a huge revelation and yeah so so, so siblings how was it growing up man like I, you you got to dig deeper into that I'm trying to figure out like what like what inspired you what's growing up in Amsterdam like what's a kid man, a young so, way in Amsterdam so you know secondary school to me was like you know just a lot of um I I'm in a I'm I'm in a southeast of Amsterdam so that's where I grew up and that's like they call it Belmont and that's where a lot of black kids live. Like, you know, just like I grew up in schools with like just fully black kids. Like mm. I probably only had like a white one white kid in the class. Um, kind of like Georgia. Probably, yeah, <laughs> pretty like, much you like know, using it's like the like, Atlanta. Yeah, yeah Atlanta. You know, black kids go to public schools and then yeah. you know, white kids kind of be scattered other places. Exactly. And I'm originally from Ghana. OK. And, um, you know, the black people in uh the netherlands are mostly from like the caribbean mm. and growing up you know them finding out you're from ghana there's a little bit of discrimination back then like you know like black on black discrimination yeah it's Let's like talk about it now like like africa right now super hype with all the music right now afro music and everything right. but back then yo <laughs> you would lie about like you know where you're originally from and you know some cats would even like you know just go as far as to say like you know they're caribbean while they're african right um, so I had a lot of that being bullied 
Um, so it was a lot of, you know, just like, you know, not really feeling comfortable in your skin. Yeah. Well, well, how did you get past that? Because that's one thing I feel like that, that that's universal. Coming yeah. from Amsterdam, coming from in the, in the States, a lot of people getting bullied. How did you deal with that situation? How important was it for you, for your parents to be like, yo, mm. you need to talk to your parents about it? Because, you know, some people, you know, a lot of people commit suicide from being bullied now. Man, it's a different it's, world we living in. talk about it, man. You know like, I, I'm not going to lie, man. I, I felt ashamed of where I came from. Like, and it was until my mom one day just took me to Ghana, mm -hmm. took me on vacation, and I saw Ghana with my own two, and I was like, yo. I'm tripping, not claiming this. I'm super proud of where I come from. Facts. And I'm embracing it, and I think I was 10 years old, and, yeah, I was, ever since that that point, I was like, man, yeah, I don't care what y'all say, man, y'all missing out. Y'all late to the party, and guess what? Everybody trying to get in now. Facts. Everybody African now, <laughs> you know. But yeah, facts. So, uh, young J Way, what would you? Uh, the older J Way now, mm -hmm. since all these kids are getting bullied. The young J Way that was getting bullied in school by his own people, his own skin tone people. He'd be own people. What, what man. would you tell that child if you had an opportunity to tell your, yourself when you were younger? Man, um, people that pick on you usually pick on you, you know, based on their own insecurities. Mm. Um, embrace who you are. And uh, that's your power for real. Like, you know, you, you find out what people bully you for and, you know, you actually find out that that's your power. Mm. Yup. Come your on Individuality now. for real. Your uniqueness. So embrace your uniqueness for real. Come yeah. on. I like that. I like that. So music singing Amsterdam. Tell me about it. What's going on? Man, so it's, uh, I mean. Y'all having, like, having open mic, sir? <laughs> What's going we on? We do, man. Hey, people, <laughs> the, people, people really view uh, Europe. Europe as like a utopia and some people are like yo what is that but um Amsterdam is like you know it's kind of like a New York really like you know people come to or maybe let's say LA like people from different cities or um you know countries come to Amsterdam like you know to like you know just kind of like pursue their careers for real um hasn't always been like that but like I've noticed it like you know even my camera guy from uh, from Spain he you know he's with us right now he came to the Netherlands to pursue his career and uh, it's kind of like a cultural hub, like mm -hmm. uh, or or a cre creative hub for real. Like you know, so so much popping right there. Like if you're talking fashion, we talking music. Um, I will say, as far as like music, like when we talking about hip hop, it's more fans than actual artists to me. There's <laughs> right. so many people, man. Like you go, you know, it's just too many rappers. But um, sp like sp Atlanta, Atlanta, yeah, it's too many rappers, <laughs> man. Right. But it, the thing that different, uh, you know, that, that makes me different is that I'm an English rapping artist. Mm. Um, it's not a lot of English rapping artists, mostly Dutch rapping artists. And, um, you know, they feel like they're only, it don't make sense to be rapping English in a Dutch country. So right. once you get embraced outside is when they tap in. But other than that, that like, it's, yeah. It's doing you. So how would you say, how would you describe your style? Because you, you kind of, your genre of music is like rap, mm -hmm. pop, rock. Like you just be mixing all, like a, just a big old bowl of gumbo, just like yeah. stirring it all up. Like, so like, what is that? Because a lot of artists seem to, um, always kind of like we use the word dick ride mm. you know what I'm saying other artists and try to be like them and not really try to figure out who they are as a person but they word. they rather sound like oh I sound like this person or I sound like that person right. that's the last person I want to hear I don't I tell you. me you sound like little baby I heard little baby I don't want to hear no more little baby. <laughs> cool if you sound like you sound like the baby I don't want to right. hear the baby what you sound like you know what I'm saying so what's your style man I would say let's say I'm an uh, extension of uh, Michael Jackson mm, bad on um, on trap drums. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Say that one more time. Michael Jackson Michael, bad on trap drums. I'm an extension of Michael Jackson bad on trap drums. Okay, now. Yeah. I can text yep. you say you fired. The song that I got, the, the new record that you got out, uh -huh. I really enjoyed it. I have to go tap back into your other music. So look, Definitely. if you're a new artist, you know what I'm saying? Well, not a new artist. If you're a new listener, a new fan of yours, what tapes do I have? What's a must listen to? No, I'm not okay. Okay. J-Way, No, I'm not okay. That's uh, one of my most vulnerable projects. And I really, really like, you know, I, f I think that project is a real good uh, introduction. Um, and it gives you like a good insight of like, you know, just my mind. And uh, yeah, man, definitely. No, I'm not okay. That's the EP. And it got a song. Uh, that, Come on, two that, songs that, that I got to listen to. Um, when I get in the car. If It Ain't Forever. If It Ain't Forever. No, I'm not okay. No, I'm not okay. Yeah. Okay. Yup. All right, so this new project. I want to give you another one. Like, come on, give me, give me three. Man, it's so many slaps on it. It's come all on. like, okay. give, me, give me the top three. Okay, top three. Um, on the rise. No, I'm not okay. And if it ain't forever. Okay. Yeah. Bet. Yep. We're tuning in. So, what's this new project you working on? What you got coming up? Man, we got the we, we got an album that we uh you know we putting together and uh man, it's amazing. It's like orgasm for real. Mm. It's uh it's, it's it's a melodic bomb and uh, I love the songwriting on it. 
It's uh, right around the corner, man. That's what we putting together right now. And uh, yeah, man. So I definitely had to salute you and respect just the fact that you um, you just make sure that you try to do something different than what everybody else is doing. So I definitely mm. got to salute you to that. Thank just you. being an artist because I feel like people forgot the art of being an artist. You, mm. this is your, this is your canvas. You can definitely. paint it the way you want to paint it. These sounds, you can just do it and erase it if it don't sound good. I try to encourage every artist. Me being an artist at one point, just do it. Yeah. If it's not good and you don't like it, at least you try. It. You know you what I'm saying? Try, man. Yeah, definitely. All right, let them know how to follow you on Instagram and all that good stuff. Your contacts. Sturski, follow me on Jayway the Alien. So J A Y W A Y T H E A L I E N. Okay. Jayway the Alien. And this new yo. single that I got that I got a hold of. Oh, man, this song, bro, like, yo, I wrote this song, you know, during the breakup, you know, Shorty was like, you know, getting on my nerves, man, like, you know, wasn't really trying to like, you know, give me the space to pursue my dream. And I was like, man, if I got to choose, then it's Shorty Goodnight, you know, mm. so Good Shorty night. Goodnight. We going to Red Light District. Yes. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that's not what I told <laughs> him, man. You didn't tell him that? <laughs> no. Okay, I'm just making sure. Jayway, check it in. We trapping out the trap house, man. Big Stewie here all the way from A-Town to Amsterdam. You dig? Big oh, A's. No. You dig? Yeah. It's going down.